I'm Steve from Ellis Brigham, this is Mark. Um, we're here to just talk a little bit about the Salomon Stance 96. So this is a completely new ski from Salomon. It's a departure from maybe what you'd normally expect from them because they made something that's a bit stiffer than you are maybe normally used to from Salomon. So just to give you the tech rundown, here is Salomon. Hi, I'm Pete from Salomon and I'm up here in uh, Glen Shee in the Scottish Highlands and I'm really pleased to be able to talk to you about a new ski from Salomon. This is the Stance 96. This is a new all-mountain ski from Salomon and it's, it's something pretty special. It's one of those skis that perhaps doesn't come along every two or three years. It's almost like a five-year, ten-year cycle of a real special ski. The reason it's so special is it can kind of handle everything, whether you're uh, carving big GS skis on a big wide open piece and you're cranking the speed. If you need to adjust your turn radius and do shorter turns, it'll lay them down. And then if you want to head off, if it's a powder day, hit some powder, big wide ski, nice rocker in the tip so it's going to float, float in the powder. And for me, the thing that shines through is its ability to do, to do both. So, you know, it's great on the piste, it's great off the piste. One of the killer features is the little titanium window here, the cutout here, and you'll see the same down here at the tail. There's no TI here, we've got CFX Superfiber here, and what that does is it just gives the ski a little bit more tolerance and a nicer, more forgiving feel. So for a double TI ski, it's just not too overpowering, you can, you can chuck it around. So who's it aimed at? You're going to be looking at advanced to expert, somebody looking to ski the whole mountain, as, as we all want to do. There are other skis in the range, but this is the width that uh, a lot of people will look to, the 96. And uh, it comes as a flat deck, and that's my stance, 96. Right, you got the tech info. Here's a little bit about how the ski feels. So we got to ski this ski a couple of times last year. Uh, we were away with Salomon on a dealer trip in America, and we also tried it out in Scotland. We were really lucky with the conditions in Scotland, a lot of fresh snow, but it, it is still Scotland, so there's a lot of challenging conditions as well. So, Mark, how did it feel? Um, so I took it out not really kind of knowing too much about it to start off with. Um, and actually, I was, I was quite surprised. You know, as you said, it's a bit of a departure from the normal kind of thing that Salomon would put out there, but, um, very quickly I realised that it was very powerful, super solid, um, you know it was, the conditions weren't great, um, I was skiing down a flat run, it was very very firm and tons of grip. Um, you wouldn't want to ski it if you weren't the most confident of skiers because it, chances are it probably would run away, run away from you a little bit, um, but for high-end skiers looking for a ski at a decent price point and something that can do most things, I think this is definitely worth looking at. Yeah, I think when you think there's some, you know, they've made this to take on some of the stiffer all mountain skis. Uh, so it's twin twin metal, wood core, sidewall, medium long radius. Price of some of those is pretty crazy. This actually comes in quite reasonable, but I think probably a big thing people are gonna ask, how does it feel compared to a QST? QSTs are softer, easier into the turn, a bit more forgiving through the turn, whereas this, you need to drive it a little bit more. But if you do, it feels grippier, it feels more powerful. There's definite, definite differences. Um, and so you might look at it on paper and think, well, there's a QST 99, there's a Stance 96, are they a bit too similar? They're nothing, chalk and cheese. May as well come from different brands. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy Salomon skis, but you felt the QSTs were a touch soft, have a look at Stance because, um, yeah, you're getting a lot of ski for your money. Um, so if you've skied it, give us your comments, let us know what you think. If you haven't skied it and you've got questions, pop them below and we'll come back to you. Otherwise, thank you for watching.